Guys, we got another green one. Let's go turn that grime into shine. In today's episode, we are discussing how to pressure wash a house like a professional. Well, uh, essentially, there's two different ways by which professionals use to be able to um, pressure wash a house effectively. One is called downstreaming. The other one is called soft washing. Soft washing is actually what I am doing right now. Um, in our very next episode, we're actually uh, going to do another downstreaming episode. So uh, stay tuned for that. So anyway, uh, but th the way we're starting here, guys, a lot of my videos, a lot of my house wash episodes start like this. First thing we're doing is just rinsing the plants. I mean, you can see there, guys, that, that, that those plants, that, I mean, they're literally touching the house. So, you know, if you're going to be spraying solution, you got to worry about that plant protection. So, and, and you're not taking a lot of time. In real time, I only took about two minutes to do this. So, and then uh, we move on to the, the next phase of the house wash now. Every single house wash is divided into two phases, two very distinct phases. In phase one, you are doing the soaping. You're going to sauce up that house with your solution, whether you are downstreaming or, like I said, in our case here, we are soft washing. Now, we are soft washing this, guys, with our proportioner set at one and a half percent. You can see there on the screen, I mean, this house was nasty full of algae, full of mildew. The homeowner hadn't washed his house, uh, I think he said three years. So, um, you know, we want to hit it with a little bit of a stronger, a stronger uh, solution there. And uh, one of the things I will mention, guys, um, I am doing a separate video on this at some point here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we do a lot of home protection. Of course, you saw me doing earlier plant protection. Uh, it's, it's something we uh, we take a lot of pride in, in, in our company and doing that. You see there on the screen how we put a plastic, uh, we cover the Verizon box. We also go around the house, the entire property, and we tape up all of, the, of, all of your outlets. Now, in this house here, the homeowner hired us. Uh, he didn't want us to do the back because he's got some construction stuff going on back there. But we're doing the three sides, the driveway. And then in this, in this job, we also did the roof of the garage um and, and he didn't want the main house roof done because he's having that replaced he said within the next couple of years so he didn't want to worry about that so uh, going back to uh phase one here guys that's what you see me doing there uh, i would say the number one mistake that all new guys i've i've noticed throughout the years all new guys make this mistake you know they'll sit and hit that wall 15 20 minutes or more they they want to keep hitting that wall with sauce until they see that wall green guys it does not work that way there is such a thing called a dwell time which is just uh, a way of saying a reaction time by which the the solution there is going to react with the the organics on that wall your algae and your whatnots and and kill it and so you know your reaction time is usually anywhere between 8 to 12 minutes so and that's what you see me doing here. Like I'm not. It's not something where I'm. I'm. I'm spending a tremendous amount of time, uh, you know, sitting there and 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 uh, making sure <clears throat> that uh, you know, every every stain on that wall is gone. That is not the priority of phase number one. You just want to sauce up that wall. And I will say this too, guys. Um, phase number one is also divided into two parts. Um, the, the first part of it obviously is what I'm doing right now. I'm just saucing up the entire wall. And we always say this from ground to gutter. So I'm hitting your soffits. I'm hitting your fascia boards. I'm hitting your, obviously the siding, the windows, anything that has green and needs to be cleaned. So, um, the, the, the second part of that guys is we start from the very beginning all over again, but this time around we do what's called spot treating. And spot treating, guys, is, you know, it's exactly that. I mean, you're, you're going around and you're just hitting certain spots, the spots that are being a little bit more resistant to your solution. Now, um, one of the things I want to do um, with every video now that I do is I want to uh, let you guys know how I got this job. 
and I will be doing that. So stay tuned for every video, guys, because in every video, I'm going to drop some gold nugget, some marketing gold nugget for you. And uh, this is a part of a bigger plan of mine because uh, I got something in, you know, in the works right now coming down the pipeline for you guys. I'm doing a nine part series on marketing on how to get customers for your pressure washing business. And uh, pretty soon here in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start uh, promoting that pretty heavily. So, but uh, anyway, so this customer here came from one of our five arounds. Now, if you've never heard that term before, five around, it's a term that's been around for a while. I did not create it. I think I heard it myself about 10 years ago. But essentially, guys, what a five around is, is, and, and, and by the way, this is something that we recommend you do in every single job that you go to. Every single one of our trucks have these six by nine postcards two-sided postcards with a bunch of before and after pictures you know obviously with our company logos and all that and uh and what we do is we put those at the five immediate neighbors so in this case here the neighbor to the left the neighbor to the right and then the three houses in front of the house where we're at that's hence the term quote unquote five arounds or five arounds and uh so uh, the the week prior to doing this house we had done the neighbor to the left, and then we had left a five around. A couple of days later, the person called, oh, yeah, I got your flyer on my door, and I, I seen that you did the neighbor's house, and we got that's how we, we picked up this customer here. And, um, and then uh, the other thing is, you know, with your five arounds, guys, you know, you just want to make sure you stay consistent with doing that. Do not do that with business cards. We recommend doing it with the with the six by nine postcards, the EDDM cards, because what happens is you're able to put before and after pictures there, and 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 that makes a you know a, a massive dis difference for you. And, and and by the way, guys, I mean very very inexpensive but effective form of marketing because I, I think we order. I want to say we pay like eight hundred for ten thousand, and that that lasts us the entire season. And we might even have a couple boxes left over for for the springtime. So you know, um, you know, if you're gonna order maybe five thousand, I think it's like three or four hundred bucks for five thousand of those. And and there's a lot of places that sell them. But uh, the bottom line, guys, is uh, that's uh, you, you know, marketing is like fishing. You got to have a lot of different ways, you know, um, to to be able to get there and and get all the customers that you need, you know. So you got to have different forms of marketing. But that is how we picked up that customer. And then um, going back to um, to the task at hand here, guys, how to pressure wash a house professionally. So you see me here, I'm in the last wall and that's all I'm doing here, guys. I am just saucing up this wall. Again, in phase number one, I am not at all concerned if the stuff is coming off or not. I am just literally putting sauce on that wall and and, and you got to trust your, your, your solution. Now, also the other thing I was going to mention, um, a lot of guys ask us about our equipment. Um, in the comment section, if you're wondering about our equipment, I would suggest you go back into our archives and watch uh, episode one. In that episode, we do a complete walk around of our trailer. You get to see the machines that we're using, the setup. Um, in this case here, we are using the Comet roof pump that is actually featured in that episode. So you get to see the equipment and how that works and all of that. So I highly recommend that. Um, and then, so uh, going back here, guys. So now I am in that spot treating phase. And, and by the way, the spot treating phase, guys, you're spending about, I would say, one to three minutes max. And that's on the maximum side per side of house. So in this case here, three sides that I was doing, I probably spent a total of three and a half, maybe four minutes spot treating because again, I'm not hitting the entire wall. I'm just hitting certain spots that, that were giving us a hard time. In this case here, he had um, really, really nasty. Um, his fascia boards up there were really bad and, and he had a little bit of mildew on his uh, soffits as well. So um, um yeah, and, and and that's that. In every single house, you're gonna do this, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and then everything's about a habit, right, guys? I mean, the more you do it, if you want to do this uh, professionally, if you wanted to do it effectively, it all comes down to habit of doing everything the same way, the a systematic way, and that's my goal with this channel is to give you guys a good uh, sort of jumping off point to how you're going to do things and. 
and and, and so um you know, you guys can develop within time your own system, you know, especially for you guys that are listening to this that have less than three years. So, by the way, guys, I have switched my system to water here. And uh, you see me watering uh, all the plants, watering um, all the walls. The, the goal when you leave a property is you want that property to be chemical free. You want the plants to be chemical free. We typically spend, uh, I would say, five to ten, I would say ten seconds per plant. Of course, you saw me rinsing these plants in the beginning, and then I rinse them at the end. And uh, the windows, they usually get about five seconds per window. So, and that's all you see me doing here, guys, as we come down to the end of this house wash. Now, as far as pricing here, I know some guys uh, uh, always ask us about pricing. We charge for three sides, house wash here, $3.99 for the actual house wash. But the job here was uh, a lot more than that because we were doing multiple things. But that's right there. Our average uh, house wash is right around there, $3.99. I would say between $3.99 and $4.75. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, and, and uh, you know, that's what you want to do. You know, you don't want to leave that chemical anywhere. That chemical can kill plants. It can damage stuff and, and so forth. And the other thing, talking about chemicals, guys, um, if, uh, you know, you're new to the industry and you want to learn more about chemicals or maybe, you know, you're, you're wondering, you know, how, how the pros uh, mix their chemicals, I would suggest you go into our library, our, our Mr. Bubbles channel library, and watch episode 10. Guys, in that episode, we do a complete, complete breakdown of all your chemicals, your rust removals, your degreasers, um, your, obviously your SH. And also what's really cool about that that episode is we have a uh, batch mixing calculator, which which uh, by using that, you will be able to... Uh, be able to, uh, you know, mix your own bleach and all that. So highly suggest that for you because that's going to help you out a lot in your journey. And uh, as we come down to the end here, guys, you know, every single house that we wash, that's what you want to do. You want to be systematic. You want to be habitual, you know, so every everything that you do, you should do it the same way. And that's what I'm doing here. That's how I develop, um, you know, su such a strong habit for, 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 you know, doing things a certain way, because that's what professionals do. You know, the number one thing is what I would say that's, that separates a, a professional from like, let's say a chuck in a truck is your level of consistency. So, you know, I, um, I really, um, I've always taken pride in, in being very consistent in everything that I do. And uh, that's why I do everything the same exact way. And I and I tell this to everybody, guys, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to master this stuff overnight in a day or two. It's going to take you time. And uh, the general rule of thumb is you want about a thousand houses under your belt. Now, that that may seem like quite a bit. But, you know, if you're out there and, and you're a full timer, for example, guys, you're going to hit those one thousand houses pretty quickly. I mean, you know, uh, you should be doing about a thousand houses a year. So um, and, and then the last thing I will say, guys, about I mentioned a little bit about the pricing aspect of it. You know, you want to make sure that your pricing's on point. You know, when you're a new guy, you, you don't want to charge, in, you know, anywhere, anywhere near where I should say below 250 bucks. I think that's the the bare bones sort of minimum that you should be charging for a house wash. Because, you know, at the end of the day, guys, hoses, hoses break, machines break, um, oh man, all kinds of stuff happens. And then on top of that, you know, like gas is expensive, your your chemicals are expensive, the, you know, all of our wands and everything because of the, the bleach, I mean, the, the stuff goes bad pretty quickly, all your fittings and whatnot. So you want to make sure that you're charging people the right amount so that way you're not, you know, stri struggling financially to you know, be able to pay your bills and stuff like that. So, and, uh, and that's it guys, you know, at the end of the day, it's just all about practice, practice, and more practice. And the more you do something, the more comfortable you're going to, you're going to become, um, you're going to become with it. So, but uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I really, really appreciate you coming to my channel and watching this, uh, how to pressure wash a house like a professional video. Guys, I also highly recommend you watch the next one as well. In that episode, like I mentioned to you guys, we are downstreaming another house. And I'm really excited to uh, 
to show you guys that one because um, it's something that you guys are going to be doing a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys over there. Thanks for watching.